Now to save time entering your username and password, your account can be accessed very quickly using an IC card system or even biometrics. Of course, the benefit of biometrics is you can't lose your card or forget your password. In fact, our device doesn't read fingerprints, it actually reads finger vein patterns, which are totally unique to every individual. In fact, finger vein reading is also 10 times more accurate in registration than fingerprint technologies. Of course, to register my finger, I will need the administrator available at the machine to make sure I'm in the right menus. So let's do that. So we're in the administration uh, menu. Let's go to the user authentication account track. In fact, you can see the same menus that we had on the access through the web browser when we're in admin mode. I'm going to go into user authentication settings, into user registration, open account, John, and I'm going to edit it. And this is where now I'm going to add the biometric data. So register authentication information, and you can see here that both these accounts, this account has two opportunities for registration, none of which have been registered. So I'm going to enter one, and it's telling me to put my finger onto the biometric display. So I'll just put my finger right until the finger stops at the end, press scan. Just to take into account any changes of your position when you log on at the machine, it will take an average of three readings. And we can just test that with an authentication test to make sure it understands. Apply that as new. Now you could have somebody else, maybe this is a department rather than an individual, so somebody else can also register to the same account and have their own biometric data also added. That's it, that's how easy it is to set up biometrics. What we'll also do while we're in this menu is just to add biometric data for Wayne's account. Okay, let's send the document again, but this time I'm going to use ID in print. This means my confidential document won't be printed until I've registered with my finger in the biometric scanner device. So let's go back into the properties of the MF282+. In the basic tab, this time I'll change the output method from print to ID in print. I already have my user account set up. In this case, it's Wayne. I've already got my password set up and it's already been verified. So I can release the job to print. So as you can see, the MFP is receiving the document over the network. There'll be a confirmation beep to confirm that it has processed it, but it won't print it until you authenticate.